And we're back now at 837 with today's professionals here to tackle the day's hot topics. Star Jones, Nancy Snyderman, and sitting in for Donnie this morning. Give I'm it Donnie. up for Mika <laughs> Brzezinski, co-host of MSNBC's Morning part. Joe. Welcome, Mika. Nice to have you here. Thank you for having me. Good to have you here because the first topic is Miley Cyrus and those VMAs and her performance yeah. there. You were very outspoken about this on your show yesterday. You called her performance disturbing. It, it, it was. We know where you stand on it. Let me ask you the next question then. Some parents groups are now saying someone at MTV needs to be fired yes. because of what went on the air that night. How do Absolutely. you feel about it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Somebody should be fired. It's hard to believe it's there weren't parents at MTV who couldn't have put two and two and two together. But didn't we expect this? MTV pushes the envelope every single year. Did you not expect that they would try Star, to go to the next level? They're pushing the envelope, and there's porn. There's raunchy porn that's disgusting and disturbing. And seeing a young girl, a 20-year-old young woman, in her literally in the process of her undoing and everyone clapping for it and being disturbed by I it and talking about it and showing it, which I hope we don't. Mika, I, I don't want to see it. Too, too late. Right, don't show it here I, on you know, my segment, please, here with you guys. Please don't show it. Listen, no one disagrees that it was really ratchet, and I agree with you on that. But I think it speaks more to young women thinking that being over-sexualized sexualized is a way to be seen and to be heard. And that's oh, more about Oh, that's exactly what we don't want our young girls to be. That's what she's... She's feeling as if in order to be seen in America, to be seen in her business, She's she must she be... She can't even figure out who she oh, is at this me. point. Miley Cyrus has I been agree with Star on this. I think the only thing that surprises me is that we're surprised. Right. She what, is a whoa, paid whoa, performer. Whoa, guys, she's whoa, trying whoa, to bridge whoa, the gap. Matt. Let me just say, she's trying to bridge the gap between adolescent star and adult star. So Matt, she's on the most provocative award show of the year, Matt, taking part in the most provocative the song of summer. I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying the fact that but we're in the media now being surprised no, by no, it no, is no, ridiculous. No, I've got my parent hat on. Sorry, I'm not a member of the media right now. Right I'm now a mother you are. Of two. Sorry, not so. Where are the parental guidelines to take a child from Hannah Montana to the next page Hannah Montana without is dead. falling? Didn't you see that Sorry, on television come on, last night? Guys. Can I Hannah speak Montana for a died second? A long time ago. Matt and Star, over sexualized is one thing. Is it sexual to stick your face in the back of a life size teddy bear? And stick your tongue out. We're talking about raunch. No, no, we're not we're, talking we're about We're talking about two different things. Yes. We're talking about Come one on. is a level of taste and over the line. We all agree yeah. on that. Yes. The other is the fact that we're all running around talking about it. You know what? Instead of getting criticized, she should get an A plus for Matt. accomplishing exactly what she no. wanted so to she accomplish. Didn't show up to her party it. afterwards. Why do you think she didn't show up? Uh, there's probably a lot of other reasons. Let's <laughs> move on. No, uh, How really? about this one? All right. Oh, cool. Starting next spring, yeah. at 200 colleges across the country, graduating students students will be able to volunteer to take a test. It's kind of an exit version of the SATs and employers, prospective employers, will look at the score you get on that test and be able to judge how you'll fare in the workplace. How do we feel about this? Uh, well, I actually like this whole <laughs> idea because I think when you're looking at what a person's core values are and whether or not they will fit within a particular corporate structure or work environment, the, not just your grade point average is the evaluation. I think it's a good idea. Look, you know, I knew I wanted to be a doctor since I was in third grade, so I don't know what the test would have told me about how I was going to do in medical school and residency. My concern is that we continue to narrow the herd looking for this person who hasn't even emerged until they're 28 and 30. I'm not so sure these core value things work. I was not a good test taker, so I wouldn't have a job. Me yeah. either. That's, yeah. how, that's my big fear. Yeah. I didn't do well on the SATs. Why am I going to exactly. get on the story after exactly. college? Exactly. And you know what? Look look who you were then and who you are now. What, is what test common test threads are a test possibly By told the way, you? you know who should be nervous about this test? Colleges. Because yeah. they take your kids and they say, we're giving them a great education. If they do That's poorly, then it makes them look bad. For $50,000 a year? Exactly but your core, right. your core values don't change. Who you are at 20 years old in your core is who you will be. Well, let's hope so. My goes my for my That's leg. not the case. Let me That's end scary. on this one. All right. A, a budget offshoot of Singapore Airlines called Scoot. Oh, yeah. Now offering a new thing. For 14 or so dollars extra, you can buy a ticket, ticket and you can sit on their plane in a kid-free zone. Who's up for that? 
I'll take it anytime. No kids under 12, by the way. I'll take it anytime, anyplace. Yeah. Oh, Would mm-hmm. you pay more than $14? Yeah, I, I definitely pay more than $14. I don't have any problem with it whatsoever. It's a long flight, and I can sit somewhere where it's quiet. Yes, give, I'll pay it. Give Ladies, me, give me the, like, I, it. If you want to be a social pariah, when you look at businessmen's faces, walk on with your baby. Been oh. there. No, they I hate them. Baby. Like, well, I but love babies. Men's just men do not love us when we walk on with our babies. So I personally would not do it. Because, frankly, I think it's anti-mother. From what I've read on Twitter recently, I think people would pay not to sit next to me. (laughs) Whatever. By the way, I'd pay $12 to sit next to you. Thank you. It's the front few rows of economy. Can you imagine you pay the extra money, you get stuck in the last row of the kid-free zone with kids right behind you? So let me get it. You get the the diaper zone and the toilet zone. Exactly. All right, I'm paying. Uh Send me a bill. Dr. Nancy Mika, good to have you here.